Hey, a while ago I made a video on how you can connect Microsoft Planner into Microsoft Roadmap as you see here. And essentially the idea is that you get all of your planner plans showed inside Microsoft Roadmap. Now this video was made a very long time ago and stuff has changed since then in Roadmap. So I thought that today I would redo a video and I will also share the flow and show you where you can download the flow and import it into your own solution. Great, so let's get started. So let's go inside Planner here. So here we can see we got a bunch of plans. This is a new controls environment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new plan here and let's make that a business plan. Now that this is created, we can go ahead and start to set start and end dates on our individual tasks here. Of course, for it to be shown correctly in Roadmap, we need at least start and end date on all of the, or some of the tasks, the tasks that we want to show at least. So let's just go ahead and add Great. So the next thing we want to do is to go to project.microsoft.com and from here we can create a new roadmap. You can see it's pretty empty right now. So let's just go ahead, create a new roadmap. And as such, it will just be empty. So of course you can see here, I can add a new row and I can connect it to a project or to Azure boards, but we don't have the options to add planner in here. This is what we're gonna do in just a minute. But for now, I'm just gonna rename this group to business plan one. And then I made it so you have to write planner in parentheses in the end for the Power Automate flow to pick up that this has to be synchronized with planner. Great, just gonna close that one down. And the next thing we're gonna do is go over to GitHub to the, I don't know what it's called, channel source. Well, the URL MS planner roadmap that I just created here. And we're gonna download this file here. And let's just open it up. And inside here, there's a couple of files and this is the one we're interested in. So let's just copy this one out so we can go back into Power Automate and import the solution. Great. Doing the import here, it's gonna ask us for a couple of, uh, of choices here. First of all, we, it's ask us, do we want to update this or create it as new? Let's create it as a new Power Automate flow. If I made an update in the future, obviously you will choose update. And then of course there's some connections here. We wanna connect to Planner, we wanna connect to Dataverse, and we wanna connect to Asia Active Directory in order to read out the Active Directory groups. Obviously we wanna create a new one. And we wanna create a new connection here, connecting to Microsoft Planner. And there's a little search here, let's just find Planner, create, create. And obviously we can click refresh here and now choose planner. We also wanna select the Dataverse. There's already a Dataverse connection created here. So let's just use that one. And we wanna have an Asia AD connector as well. Now that those are created, we can go ahead and choose them here in the list and start importing the Power Automate. Great, everything was imported as, as expected. So we can go into My Flows now and we can see there's a new Roadmap Planner Sync flow here. Obviously we can see there's a problem with the flow, well it's turned off, so it's probably the issue. Yeah, it's turned off. 
I think that is standard when you import a new flow. So let's just turn it on. That goes away. And then the next thing we can do is, of course, to run the flow. So it's just going to ask us here if we want to sign in to those connections. That's fine. Let's go ahead and run the flow. And now it is running. Great, that succeeded. So let's now go back into the roadmap here. Just refresh the page. And now we can see that all our planner plans here is now imported. I've just scrolled a little bit to the left. We can, of course, see we got identify available skills and so on. And we can, of course, set statuses and do what else we need to do here. Of course, you can still open details to see the details here. And you can also add another row here to import another planner plan, or you can even connect it to a project of some sort. That was pretty much it, pretty easy to set up. Now, the next thing you might wonder is, all right, maybe I don't want all of my planner plans to be included in here. You might, might want to make a rule saying it's only specific plans. And obviously to do this, you would go in and edit the flow. I'll just give you a brief tour on how this flow works. And, uh, and what you should be aware of. So I'll just give you a brief walkthrough of how the flow works and you can decide how you want to reconfigure it or reuse some of the functionality here. I think it's important that you familiarize yourself with the Dataverse tables that Roadmap uses and how those are connected together because this is a key part of the trick to actually making this flow. So the first thing we do here is, of course, we start it manually. You could replace this and say, let's just delete this one and, uh, and put in here, say, let's run it on a schedule. You could even also run it on the event that somebody creates a new business plan. But for this uh, example, we'll just run it like every year. Let's run it once a day. Then there's the roadmap connection ID here. And this is just something I put in so it's easy to find when you, you know you refresh the first time or refresh the next time. So the connection ID is essentially project Azure DevOps or in this case Microsoft Planner. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look out well, is there already a connection created? A connection is required for this to work. And if there's nothing created, we'll go ahead and create the new connection with the ID that we have from our connection string here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get all groups. And uh, of course, you can only get groups you actually have access to. So we're going to read out all the Asia AD groups that we have in the organization and loop over them to update the planner for each of these groups. So we're going to loop over them. And for each group, we will get the planner that are associated with the group. Most of them will probably be empty. So it's just going to skip a lot of them. And then it's going to find the planner plans that it needs. And then we're going to loop over each planner. Typically, there will be one plan uh, inside each group, but in few cases, there can of course be uh, be more. And we're going to find the roadmap associated with that plan. And we do that by simply looking up the name here. So we take the planner plan name and then we uh, extend it with parenthesis planner. That was why I put parenthesis planner in here before. Of course, if you want to use square brackets or something, this is the place to change it. And then we simply loop over whatever we find here. And of course, in some cases, we're not going to find anything. It's just going to skip this. But if it does find something, we're going to check that there's a roadmap row link. And we just do that by checking, well, does the link value corresponds to the roadmap that we're currently open? And if it doesn't exist, we want to go in and, uh, and create it. And the row link is the link that identifies where this one is connected to. So if I choose project here, then of course it will be connected to project. If it choose Azure DevOps, it will have a role link of Azure DevOps. And uh, I chose Planner, so I have to create a role link myself, or the Power Automate has. The next thing we're gonna do is get all the tasks for the plan. And then we're just gonna loop over each task and just verify that the data is as, as expected. It has a start date, it has an end date. And of course the end date is greater than the start date. If this is not the case, we'll simply just skip that task and not show it in the roadmap. This is also where you can add in an extra rule saying that, well, if it has like a color or something like that, you want to include it in the roadmap and then skip all other tasks. <clears throat> then we're going to get the item link 
for the roadmap for, for the roadmap item and uh, the roadmap item is actually the rows that we have down here and we simply look it up on the id that we got from uh, the call before and if we do find our roadmap item then of course uh, we're going to update it if we don't find it we're going to create a new one so let's start by just see what happens when we create a new one when we create a new one we will create a new roadmap item and obviously we will set the due date the start date and so on notice this uh, link to the roadmap you need to set that with slash ms underscore roadmaps with an s remember that and then of course we're going to choose this as a, a phase it's not a, a key milestone or a key date and then we're going to create the link as well so we know where this comes from this comes from the planner and it comes from the planner with this id and this project name and this is of course because next time we're coming in here we want to check well does it exist yes it does all right then we know when to up what to update it with so the next time we come in and update it we're going to link it up with the row id and the due date and obviously the name i think there's a few yeah the start date as well so that is about it obviously this could have been made a lot more beautiful but it works so feel free to use it and reuse it and if you do reuse it feel free to to fork the github here or just uh, send it to me uh, over over linkedin uh, for me to upload Thank you for watching. If you like it, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe for more great content.